Today we will cover the integration technique, integration by parts, and do some related exercises. Our objective today is to integrate a product, namely integral of f of x times g of x dx. So yet we don't know how to solve, how to overcome this problem. So the basic idea in this technique or method is to use uh, the product rule for uh, derivatives. So we know how to take derivative of a product. So if we have a product uh, such as u times v, the derivative of a product using the product rule is the, the derivative of the first one, u prime times the second one, v, plus the first one times the derivative of the second one. So now, if we take this u v prime to this side, u v prime equals u v parentheses prime minus u prime v. Okay. Now, if you integrate this equation on both sides, you obtain integral u dv is integral of uh, u v parentheses prime gives you u times v minus integral of v du. So with this formula, you have the integral of a product in terms of a product minus integral of a different product. So, so now the problem of solving, of integrating a product reduces to solving or integrating another product. So this is feasible if the second integral here is easier to solve. Now we will see how to choose u and v accordingly such that our problem becomes feasible on solving some exercises. Let's start with the example integral of 4x times ln x dx. Here we have the product of a polynomial 4x and a, a logarithmic function ln of x. So we don't know how to solve this integral. However, using the formula, integration by parts formula, we can overcome this integral of a product. However, we have to choose which one is u and which function is which function to call u and which function to call v. So, to do this, there is a shortcut called LAPTE, L-A-P-T-E, in the precedence of choosing u. So, L stands for logarithmic functions, A stands for inverse trigonometric functions, P stands for polynomials, T stands for trigonometric functions, and E stands for exponential functions. So, in this case, we have a polynomial, 4x, and a logarithmic function, ln of x. So that means, because l comes before p, we need to call the logarithmic function u. Let's see how this goes if we do so. So that means u is ln of x. Now, du dx is the, in, uh, the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x dx. On the other hand, because we are looking to uh, solve the integral of u dv, that means 4x dx is our dv. dv equals 4x dx. And if you integrate on both sides, you obtain v as 2x squared. So now we have determined or functions u and v. That means I can go on with the formula, integration by parts formula, and solve this integral. So, uh, according to the formula, this integral equals to u times v, in this case ln of x, times v 2x squared, minus integral of uh, v, which is 2x squared, times du, which is 1 over x dx. As you can see here, the harder part of the problem, which is the logarithmic function in this case, has disappeared from the second integral. Now, this, int this uh, polynomial over here can be easily integrated using the power rule. So this is equal to 2x squared ln x. Here we have 2x squared divided by x, which is 2x, so the integral of 2x 
gives us x squared. So minus x squared. And because this is an indefinite integral, we have the integration constant. We add the integration constant, c to it. So that's our result. Now, our second example is integral of arctangent of x dx. Now, you might say there is the product here, because you only see the, an inverse trigonometric function, the arctangent of x. However, even if there is no product, you can still apply integration by parts by considering 1 as a product. So this integral is the same as 1 times arctangent x dx. Now we have a product of a polynomial, 1, in this case polynomial, and then the arctangent x, which is an inverse trigonometric function. That means u should be the inverse trigonometric function, in this case, arctangent of x. So if u is arctangent of x, then du, is, du dx is the derivative of arctangent, which is 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. And what's left, which is 1 dx, is our dv. So dv is dx. So that means v the integral of dx is x. Now, applying integration by parts, by integrating this integral by parts, we have u times v, which is arctangent x, times x, minus integral v, which is x, times du is 1 over x squared plus 1 times dx. The second integral, the integral on the right hand side, is easier than the integral before because here we had no idea how to integrate, but this one we can easily integrate by realizing we have almost the derivative of the denominator over here. So if you add a 2 over here, a factor of 2, and a factor of 1 half over here, now, inside the integral, you have the derivative on the numerator and the function in the denominator. So this is the, by the definition of ln x. This will be easily integrated. So we have uh, x times arctangent x here minus 1 half. And here, the integral of 2x over x squared plus 1 is ln x squared plus 1. And the integration constant c. Our next example is integral of x times cosine x dx. Here we have a polynomial x and then a trigonometric function cosine of x. That means I'm going to label the polynomial as u, so u is x. That means du equals dx. What is left here is dv, so dv equals cosine x dx. That means if we integrate on both sides, v is sine x. So we have u equals x and v equals sine x. Applying integration by parts, this integral equals to u times v, which is x times sine x minus integral of v, which is sine of x, times du, which is dx. As you can see, the problem x, the factor x, has disappeared in the second integral, so we can easily integrate that. So we have x times sine x. Integral of sine x is minus cosine x with the minus sign in front of it. We have plus cosine x plus the integration constant c. As the next example, consider the integral of x squared plus 2x times e to the x dx, which is Again, 
an integral of a product. In this case, uh, the first factor is a polynomial, x squared plus 2x, and the second factor is an exponential function, e to the x. So that means, again, I need to call the polynomial u. If u is x squared plus 2x, then du, is, du dx is a derivative, which is 2x plus 2 dx. What is left here is e, e to the x dx is our dv. dv is e to the x dx. That means v, the integral of e to the x, is again e to the x. So now u is x squared plus 2x and v is e to the x. By applying integration by parts, we have u times v, x squared plus 2x times e to the x minus integral of v, which is e to the x times du, 2x plus 2 dx. Now the second integral has still a product in it. That means we are not done with by just applying integration by parts once. Here, however, notice that here the polynomial is of second degree and here the polynomial is of first degree. So that means if I apply integration by parts one more time, I'm, I will probably obtain a polynomial of order zero, or that means a constant, and then I can easily integrate. So that means but in some questions, you need to reapply integration by parts as much as necessary. However, if you pick e to the x as u, that will stay always the same because the derivative of e to the x is always e to the x. So the problem will never disappear. And in fact, it will get even worse because at each integration by parts, you will increase the degree of the polynomial on the other hand. So that's why we need to be careful which one to pick as our u function. So reapplying integration by parts here. Again, this is the polynomial, which I will call u. So u is 2x plus 2. That means du is 2dx. And what is left is the same e to the x dx is our dv, so v is the same. So now, again, of course, I need to keep this uh, x squared plus 2x times e to the x minus, be careful here, so I open a parenthesis here. Now, uh, applying integration by parts, on this integral here, we have u times v, which is 2x plus 2 times v e to the x minus integral of v, which is e to the x, times du to dx. As you can see, here we have uh, an easy integral to e to the x. The integral of two to e to the x is the same, 2 times e to the x. This will give me x squared plus 2x times e to the x. Distributing the minus sign, I have minus 2x plus 2 e to the x plus minus minus plus, and the integral here is 2 e to the x plus the integration constant c. Now here, if you parentheses e to the x, we have x squared plus 2x minus 2x, so those two cancel each other, minus 2 plus 2, they cancel each other, so we end up with x squared e to the x plus the integration constant c. As our final example, consider the integral of 2 times e to the x cosine x dx. Now here we have again a product of an exponential function, e to the x, and trigonometric function, cosine of x. That means I will label cosine of x as u. So u is cosine of x, du is 
du dx is the derivative minus sine x dx. What's left is 2 times e to the x dx is dv. dv equals 2, to the 2 times e to the x dx. So v, the integral of 2 times e to the x dx, is the same 2 times e to the x. So now I have u as cosine of x and v as 2 e to the x. So integrating by parts, this integral gives us u times v cosine of x times v to e to the x minus integral of v which is 2 times e to the x times du minus sine of x dx. I change this minus sign to plus and put the sine of sine here, sine x dx. Now the second integral is still a product and still a product of the same type. We still have an exponential function times a trigonometric function. So we haven't done much. However, here we had cosine and now we have sine. So let's reapply integration by parts and see what happens. Again, I will label the trigonometric function, in this case sine, as u. So if u is sine of x, then du dx is cosine x, cosine x dx, and 2 times e to the x dx is again dv, so v is 2 times e to the x. Okay. Now, applying the in integration by parts once more, we need to keep this here, 2 e to the x cosine x plus, now, u times v sine x times 2 times e to the x minus integral of v, which is 2 times e to the x times du. du is cosine x dx. Now again, we still have the integral of an exponential function times the trigonometric function. However, this integral here on the right is the same integral we were looking for in the very beginning. So if I call this integral i, okay, this is the same as i. So by putting this on to the other side, I have twice the integral I want, 2i equals this one over here. 2 times e to the x, I have cosine x plus sine x here. And hence, the integral I want is the half of it, so e to the x times cosine of x plus sine of x in parentheses plus the integration constant c. Today, we have seen the integration technique, integration by parts. The formula for integration by parts derives from the product rule for derivatives. When applying this formula or this technique, the most important thing is uh, to determine which factor to call u and which factor to call v. For this, we have a shortcut, LAPTE, to label u. If you do it the other way around, the integral may even get more complicated. However, the integration by parts does not guarantee you a solution for every product. There are integrals of products which you cannot solve by using integration by parts. For such problems, you need to apply other integration techniques.